about in focus. I hope I am. Um, I just recorded like what I thought was a really good video and then it just wasn't in focus and I was like mm, I can upload it yeah but like it's just gonna be like so I, I, I don't think that that's a good idea I think that's a sign for me to re-record so I hope I'm in focus hi how you doing it's been one hell of a month man one hell of a month hmm relapses relapses into suicidal thoughts and tendencies how do we deal with them the 19th of june round about in the evening i faced massive triggers uh, I fucking hate that word because like it, it kind of now it's all become pseudo kind of like pop psychology isn't it but it officially, the psychological term is a trigger. Um, as y if you go and have a look at my other videos about how if you're triggered several times a day, then usually that helps to um, you to descend into one of your negative core beliefs. And boy, did this happen! I didn't even. I don't even think it was like one. Maybe it was a collection of things. I'm not sure. I'd done like a ten-hour shift at work, and then um, I'd gone over to my parents. And then there were just some things that happened at home, which obviously home is going to be one of the biggest things that is going to trigger you. Um, so I started to go into this place where I just didn't want to be alive anymore. And I started to think again about how I was going to do it, how I was going to really just end it all. And um, I just thought, wow, this was actually so much stronger than what I'd went through two years ago. Two years ago it felt like a build-up, it felt like a culmination. This actually felt like a 10 ton truck slamming me from the side and just just kept coming out of nowhere. And um, luckily I had my partner um, who really helped me and you know it, it lasted for at least a day, like the next morning I couldn't get up. And the reason how I knew that this was really bad is because when I woke up the next morning, I just didn't want to get up. And I haven't had it that, I've been quite a high functioning depressive these years. This is the first time that this has ever gone to that level where I was just waking up crying and I just didn't want to like leave the bed. So, Luckily, I was like, right, okay, what can I do? And I started to engage in all the things that I hadn't been doing. Daily routine. Which I think is actually the main reason why I'm making this video. It's because if you don't maintain a regular routine, I mean, just, just daily, and the people who are continuously successful and also have good mental clarity and also understand themselves and are able to surf between the ebbs and flows of life it comes from the routine of being able to center oneself and really welcome yourself to this world every morning when you wake up and be grateful for who you are now i was practicing gratitude and i was practicing affirmations um but i wasn't exercising and i wasn't meditating I can't stress enough how those two things are just so important. You need to be moving your energy flow and chi flow. Your blood, your, your heart is doing everything that it can, but if you're not exercising regularly, getting your heartbeat pumping, racing, how are you going to be able to really accept the vigor of life and just go forward with it? I had been doing that. I had been doing it for about... I've been doing it for a while because I've been meditating here and there but come I think it was up to April um, I had been really good, not been drinking, not been smoking, not been doing any of that and really had been enjoying the mental clarity but unfortunately something happened with my tooth and I ended up um, smoking and drinking again and I think that had really numbed some stuff, some pain and then I decided to stop again, and then that's when everything just hit me. So I hadn't been meditating, hadn't been exercising on a daily basis. So things that I had really 
taken part in to give me some kind of ability to cope with the ebbs and flows of life just were gone and all of a sudden not only did that with my negative core beliefs happen some other stuff went down in my professional life and I just got abused and thrown around like in one day more than I could have you know the Monday and Tuesday last week was hell on earth it really was hell on earth and but then come Tuesday afternoon I'd already started to think of a game plan and start to get a bit of hope about my situation and then come Wednesday had a really great day and then the rest of the week's been been all right um, but this kind of stuff will bleed into all of your relationships and it's also been super stressful as well because I've had like a lot of change going on this month it's been masses of change, like my living situation has changed and my job situation has changed. Um, also what it is exactly I'm supposed to be doing, I have no idea. Um, I have a multitude of skills, um, but I don't know what it is. Um, and it's being able to embrace that with real, um, you know, with, with vulnerability and um, bravery because it's fucking scary. So that's what's happened. <laughs> and I wanted to just let you know that, you know, relapses are hard, you know, they, they, they will hit you hard because you think that you've been coping all right. And then, you know, you're gonna, sometimes if you're really good, you know, and I've heard a lot of people, they've, they've continued it. They've continued the, 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 the process of them healing by continuing the exercise and continuing things but then something might happen and then it will cause you to stop it all and then BAM then you'll realize that what that's what was holding you up and keeping you up so what first and foremost just take it easy on yourself it's okay we're still we're always on a process of learning and going through things and really helping you know to you know, you're still building patterns of behaviour because you've been following a certain pattern for ages and now all of a sudden you're trying to like love yourself again and you're trying to do things that help you to love yourself again. So it's easy to descend back into uh, patterns of behaviour and ways of thinking without knowing it. You know, I, I was in this incredible, I am in this incredible relationship but unfortunately I've been neglecting my own, my own self-care because of that and now I'm finding I'm being reactive and I'm finding that I'm slipping back into old patterns and behaviours that I did when I wasn't taking care of myself and really putting myself first. So it's interesting to observe that. So, so give yourself a bit of a break. Then, first of all, then, then look at what it is that you've been missing from your life. What it is that you haven't been engaging in that really gives you joy. You know, that, that whole thing with getting up in the morning, not drinking, not being, you know, uh, with exercising, with meditating. What is it that you've stopped doing that, you were, that was giving you that element of self-care that was helping you to cope? Um, do it again and make time for it because this is really important, really important. Um, you, you know, nobody's going to do it for you. Nobody, only you. And then once people see that you're taking care of yourself, then people will respond to that. Um, and then, yeah, just take it easy again. And, you know, if anything, I, I would up it like I'd, you know, the, the universe has given me an opportunity to be able to have time. And time is our most precious commodity. So now I've got this abundance of time, which is why I'm recording this video. And I thought it was really important. So take it easy. And I will speak to you really soon. I'm okay. I'm doing all right. Um, but remember, relapses happen. We don't just get it right straight away and, you know, we heal up and then, yeah, that's it, that's great, that's fine. No, people do slip. Uh, I really like the idea of how life is not a ladder, but it's a... It's like a beach, you know, the waves come up so far and you're like, yeah, I've got really far and then, and then sometimes it might come back and then it might only come up a little bit and you're like, oh, my life is not that great because I haven't gone as far as I could have gone or I did go and you're already, you're already putting so much pressure and intention on yourself. So just give yourself a break and chill out and just come back to the patterns and behaviours and the routines that gave you comfort and they'll help you. 
I'm not talking about going and like, you know, drowning your sorrows. I'm talking about what you would do in order to, you know, make yourself healthy, happy and wholesome. I hope that helps. Anyway, you take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.